The state-run tabloid Global Times is going big on doping controversies in the Olympics. There's a scathing editorial in today's edition calling out the U.S. anti-doping agency for allegedly covering up violations by American athletes over the years. Now, the paper has been publishing op-eds on the issue almost every day since the game started. An editorial earlier this week slammed the treatment of Chinese swimmers, saying that they've been, quote, drowning in endless doping tests and hostile attacks mainly from U.S. politicians and media. Mimin Lo, she's running us now here. Uh, and there's a new twist in this whole anti-doping scandal. What's going on? Yes, yeah, so Reuters first broke this news. According to them, the USADA had allowed athletes that were tested positive for doping to continue competing for years in exchange for uncovering more information on of violation by other athletes. And this has been going back as far back as 2011. And they only told the World Anti-Doping Agency, which is WADA, in 2021, 10 years after the fact. Uh, and WADA said that they have no choice but to agree to the US request to close the case because these athletes are retired now and they said there is a risk of retaliation, a fear for the security. Uh, and so that's what's happening now. And uh, what I said, if they had known, uh, they would not have allowed it. It's a clear violation of the, the rules. Okay. And the response from USADA then is what? Yeah. So USADA is saying that uh, they were allowed to do that. They said it is necessary, it is effective in uncovering the broader system of trafficking and doping. Okay. Uh, yeah, and they said they would like to continue doing so, but they will refrain from doing so now that there is no clearance from uh, WADA. And there is a clause in the anti-doping code that says that athletes who substantially assist in anti-doping investigation, they can apply for a partial lifting of any ban after prosecution. And that's a key word here because these U.S. athletes were never prosecuted. That's where they have violated the rules. And as far as mm -hmm. WADA knows, there are three athletes. Two of them are low-ranking ones in a running circuit, but one is an elite-level athlete who has been able to compete, you know, as if he never cheated. His results were never disqualified. His prize money was never returned. The backdrop of all this, this whole doping scandal, was around these 23 Chinese swimmers that were still allowed to compete in the Tokyo Olympics. H have we seen any developments there? Yes, WADA has come out to defend their actions. They said they have a very robust testing regime. And these athletes, they were tested many days before and after that single trace positive test. Uh, and they accepted the reason of food contamination because there had been, uh, they tested hundreds of meat samples. There was traces of steroids. And they said that this is common in other countries as well. It has happened in the U.S. as well, even in the last few months. And that's why you have China accusing the U.S. of double standards because you have that sprinter, remember? He was cleared to compete in Paris, even though he tested positive for a banned substance in March. USADA says that it was, he was cleared because it was a case of food contamination.